This video was made by Taoping Airlines Math Industry. We hope you have a good learning experience and a wonderful video. Hi, Taoping Airlines Math Industry, and today we're going to be looking at Pythagorean Theorem, but with a pyramid in it. With Pythagorean Theorem, we're supposed to be doing one we have a message coming in from a, a Chinese emperor named uh, Qin Shi Huang Di. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Looks like it's a voicemail from the first emperor of China. Since the moment he became king, Ying Jian has planned for his own death. A tomb is being constructed which by tradition will contain replicas of his most precious possessions, including his army. Good. That tradition will continue. Very good. But on a scale no one has ever seen before. How big is this supposed to be? Well, it's a simple question. So, the tomb that the first emperor was going to build is actually in the shape of a pyramid, like this. Right there, that's the period, right there. So, you were working on the tomb with another worker, then he gave you a diagram of this. He measured the tomb with these numbers on it measured in meters. The only problem is, that they're missing how tall the pyramid is going to be. So, at least we have these two units, but the only thing that's missing that the emperor wants us to know is how tall is this pyramid going to be? Let's try and find that out. For Pythagorean theorem, the formula is a squared plus b squared is going to equal the hypotenuse. This is c squared. The thing is, with this, the hypotenuse is already measured. We want to know the height. So now we're saying a measurement plus what is going to equal the hypotenuse, which is 287. And 345 is from here all the way to here. But the problem is that the triangle from here to here is going to be cut in half. So that is 172. You might be thinking, well, how does this apply to Pythagorean theorem? This will not work. Well, it actually does because the purple triangle is actually in the shape of a right triangle. Pythagorean theorem will only work if there is a right triangle included. So, to figure out what the right triangle is, if we find the height for this, we will be able to find the height of the whole pyramid. And, since there are no numbers that have a number 2, or that have a square in them, we don't even do the, the squares, because we ignore them, because they're not in the square root forms. So, to get the missing number as the height of the pyramid, we have to subtract by 100. 72 on both sides. Then, if we do that, we would get 115 meters as the answer for how big the pyramid for the height is going to be. Will this work? Does 172 plus 115 equals 287? Yes, and let's show this to the Emperor. Excellent. He's right. The Minister for Justice is right. I shall personally appoint six governors for the six commanderies of the Empire, 36 in all, which of course is six times the number of the states I have conquered. Ah. Did 
dimension. Six is my favorite number. Nice! The Emperor was very pleased with the dimensions of his new Imperial tomb. Thank you for watching Taoping Airlines Math Industry. Like and subscribe. Taoping Airlines Math Industry, mission out.